welcome back to another episode of Lighting the Way. I'm your host, Justin Bird. Today we will be talking about the Safe Light Foundation's Seniors Matter program. Joining our conversation today is the Supervisor of Rich Township, Kelvin Jordan. Supervisor Kelvin Jordan, welcome to the show. Thanks for being with us. Well, well, thank you guys for inviting us. I'm very excited and not only that, I'm very thankful for Safe Light and what they've done and what they're doing in the Southland region. Awesome. Well, we are honestly, the feeling is mutual and we're excited to talk with you today. So thank you for your time. Um, before we talk about the Seniors Matter program, mm -hmm. you know, tell me a little bit about Rich Township. You well, know. well, let me tell you about Rich Township. We comprise uh, 10 different communities. I always say Olympia Fields, Richton Park, mm -hmm. Matson, uh, Flossmoor. Uh, then you have Park Forest. Uh, then you have Hazelcrest. You also have Country Club Hills. And then uh, you have... Uh, University Park. Okay. Uh, these are areas that, you know, some, they're affluent areas too, but they're areas that where we give assistance and give back. But more importantly, it's a heavily populated senior area. And what we do in townships, transportation, that is a huge thing for seniors. Awesome. Well, um, what are some of the roles that you do as a supervisor of Rich Township? Well, first of all, we have the GA service, which is the general assistant, help those that's in need. Mm -hmm. And what we do, we have a unique type of program. You know, sometimes you put people on roles where they need assistance. Some people stay there, but we graduate them to other levels where they can be there. We help them with employment, you know, finding jobs, getting certain assistance, doing resumes, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have the pantry, uh, uh, which we provide Matter of fact, a weekly time we have anywhere from twelve to fifteen hundred people to come through, mm -hmm. get assistance three days a week, two days with foods, and these are very good nutritional foods that we give away. We have a That's third great. day that we do fruits and everything like that, which we work with the nutritionist to make sure that we're able to give seniors, you know, really fresh produce. And we do this, uh, you know, throughout the year. I mean, it doesn't happen this week and skip to next week. We're okay. doing this three days a week, and plus we have home delivery from that, which is huge. Uh, also, we have uh, the assessor's office, and that's a big topic right now based upon what's happening with the new tax bills. But mm -hmm. uh, between uh, Sam Brown, who's our assessor, and Paula Farr, our deputy, both of them are doing a phenomenal job in reaching out and working with people to see what we can do to help those and help those in the township, you know, assist them in regard to certain taxes. Uh, we have the road district department, which is another separate constitutional mm -hmm. office, which uh, takes care of unincorporated uh, rich township. But... Also, Homeland Security, which we assist. We assist in different municipalities with, you know, they're not, they don't have police duties, but they assist, you know, in terms of traffic control and mm -hmm. things of that nature. If they're having little festivals out, we out there with traffic control. Or either it's something that happened over in the night. Sometimes there are fatalities or sometimes they're just regular ac accidents. We send them out. We have a light patrol. But these are people that's on call. They go out and assist, uh, either assist the fire department, even though you might have a fire department, but in an area you need someone that assist and do other things. So I, I always consider us being the last resort of government and the things that we do. And don't forget our senior services, which is our baby, which mm -hmm. comes back to you guys yeah. in terms of the participation that we're able to give. Senior services, we have over a thousand participants oh, wow. that not only use transportation to come up day to day, whether it's yoga, whether it's doing things, mm -hmm. staying engaged. One of the things that we had to recognize and really learn during the whole coronavirus period, yeah. seniors needed to stay engaged. Someone needed stay to pick active. up the phone, yeah, call, check on them. What can we do? How can we assist? And then we have a little ice cream, as I call it, you know, from time to time. They might come go on an architecture tour, they might mm -hmm. go on a little trip up to Galena, uh, either go up to Lake Geneva. Matter of fact, we got a lavender place we're going up in uh, Michigan. You oh, know, fun. Just, and, and they meet other seniors. Remember, there are seniors who don't have relatives or might have lost a loved one. And they're able to, you know, just like back in the days when we used to be in the playground, mm -hmm. we met friends and we made friends. Well, right. when you get older, you need to still be able to do the same thing. So our senior services is humongous. And the participation that we have within Rich Township is one of the tops in the state. That's incredible. And yes. I think it's really important for seniors to stay mm -hmm. active. And mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, talking about the Senior Matter program, you know, that's one of the main goals is yeah. to keep senior citizens active in the community. So yeah. the Senior Citizens, the Seniors Matter program that Safe Light Foundation created, you know, is was essential for providing senior citizens with the tools and resources mm -hmm. to ensure safe driving and to stay active in their community. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, some senior citizens don't, you know, prefer to drive or, you know, maybe no longer can drive. So mm -hmm. the foundation saw an opportunity 
and came up with this idea of having a rideshare program um, for senior citizens that you know don't have the funding or need assistance to getting to their appointments such as doctor's appointments mm -hmm. going to the pharmacy just normal day-to-day -day things that as they get older they may not be able to do so um, in 2022 the safe life foundation applied for the community challenge grant by aarp which we we received and with that grant money we were able to start the rideshare program our board chair nikki zoller was also able to match that grant so we could extend that reach and be able to um so we were able to extend our reach and help senior citizens so you know i think it was country club hills richmond park and madison yeah. you know sh showed an interest in the rideshare program and since they are part of rich Township kind of brought Rich Township to the table, and we were able to create this program helping seniors 65 and older um, with transportation. So, since 2022, I believe when we started the rideshare program, what impacts have you seen with the program itself? Well, I can tell you this it's meant a lot to a lot of people because at times I get little notes and uh, they send me cards thanking us, and I says, not only thanking us, but I want to thank you guys for being innovative in what you have done because mm -hmm. it has given us a new light in what we can do. What we're about to do, we're about to probably do something a little different. We're thinking about getting some little small economical car. Mm -hmm. So also we can put them more, you know, where they feel. I know we have the buses, but with the car, they feel like, okay, I'm more at home. Okay. So I can pull up in a car, I can pick you up, I can take you places and everything. And those are the things that are important because... I'm out and I'm seeing a person that says, hey, I'm part of this program. Mm -hmm. And I see a young lady, uh, when I say young lady, older lady that I see at the credit union. And she says, you know what? I really appreciate this because with me being on a fixed income, this helps me tremendously. And we're able to also help other senior outlets where seniors live within the senior homes and places like that. Mm -hmm. And it just gives them more independence. And plus, a lot of times what I like about it, give them that one-on-one -on -one because like I say, again, some of these people don't get a chance to interact with people much. Might get a phone call, but to be out. And one thing that we stress is that making sure from a customer service standpoint, this is not customer service. This is family. Right. And we reach out and we embrace it. So I can tell you this, that uh, the schedule stays full. I look at it. It's like a lesson plan from three to four months out. It is full. So, you know, if we can do more, I'm looking forward to it. I even ask others if they can make different donations to help us because a lot of times, you know, we get a certain amount of monies, but being able to make a difference with people within your community means a lot, and especially in government when you give back in a good way and a, and a, and a uh, fiscal good way. Mm -hmm. And so with all the ride shares, clearly mm -hmm. the seniors are very appreciative of it. Mm -hmm. And how do some seniors, if they mm -hmm. don't know about it, how do they get involved and how how do they find out about it? What we do, we also do part of the senior network. Uh, and then we have the different little senior resources, fairs that we have to mm -hmm. tell what services we provide. And one of the things that I always ask him, we do senior pop-ups, which highlights the different things we do within senior services. Okay. And that's one of the things that we tell people. Plus, when they call, and, and I can tell you this, I work very closely with my mayors, Mayor Rick Rambo to Richton Park, Mayor Sheila Chalmers Curran, a Matheson and Mayor James Ford of Country Club Hills. Those are three of our large uh, facilities Got it. that make a huge difference. And I am really pleased with the partnership that we have. Plus, if you call the office, they'll let people know if you're trying to get transportation, contact Rich Township, and this is the services, and this is what we're able to do. Again, another thing, too, with our services, we have some very dedicated employees that understand this is what we do in Rich Township. So again, like I said, it's a natural, but when you guys assisted, stepped up, I mean, it cut the cost tremendously. Plus, mm -hmm. not only that, you're able to help us even, you know, we got a few new drivers and, and most of the drivers that we have are seniors. So, I mean, they enjoy what they do and uh, we just look forward to taking the program to other communities. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So you stated that there's a new car that's also being served. We're looking at getting a new car. So in other words, you know, mm -hmm. if you put the person in and yeah. and it's it, 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 everybody's talking about Uber and, and they don't talk about taxis anymore and all right. that, but just being able to pull up in a small car, put the person in, that's those are the type of services that we're looking at it where they feel like, okay, I'm not in a in large transportation, mm -hmm. but I have a car and I feel that one-on-one. And, and, and they're very appreciative. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, I've, and I've had some people, even though they have been out there and I've talked to some of the drivers, they appreciate it, but they said, sometimes I feel like I need to tip the driver. I says, we're okay. We're okay. We've got that. But uh, just make sure you let us. I mean, especially when you see the wait list, the wait list itself, mm -hmm. it can be long, but I want to make sure that we're accommodating. Another concern that we've had, people sometimes won't, you know, we're, we're from eight to four. That's another okay. thing. But, you know, even within that time frame, most seniors like to go out early in the morning anyway and be in. So we do, like I said, we do a lot with the seniors. Uh, we got others. We got what we call senior ambassadors. And they also spread the word and tell people what's going on, what you can do. And then mm -hmm. what we try to do monthly is ask them to bring in another new senior who might not know about services. And as we talk about it, even though you do have a lot of seniors that have their own transportation, but there are a lot of people that says, and I got a neighbor who can't do certain things. Mm -hmm. uh, is it okay if I share this information? And I said, sure, you know, but whatever we can do to help. But this service here has, I can tell you this, everybody's very pleased with it. Very pleased. Wow. So if the senior wants to get involved, they'll contact their, the village that they live in, and then they will then direct you. Most of the time, the they'll, they'll contact the village, but also they'll direct them to contact Rich Township at 708-748-6722. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. And, and if, we, if they aren't there, they get the message. And we'll follow back up and call a person and say, hey, you know, how can we be of assistance? Mm -hmm. And what we don't do when we get people to call in, uh, they don't have to go through a lot of changes of saying, okay, certain age is 65 or somebody might be borderline 64, mm -hmm. which is huge. But also I'll tell you another thing. We work very closely with the AARP program. So they do a lot of things within within uh, our senior services. Mm -hmm. uh, Margarita, who, her, who heads up, uh, Horton, who heads up our AARP in the Southland, they constantly have meetings with Rich Township Senior Services, but they also spread the word and let other people know. Because they get a lot of people, like I said, within those 10 communities. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people that don't know about various services, but when they find out the senior services has been a real hit. Another thing, too, we used to do, and this was through PACE, we used to bring people to the city for certain, you know, a doctor's appointments. But as I told them, we're going to spearhead to see what we can do. And long as we can stay within our boundaries and do certain things, this is a service is, that's much needed. Absolutely. Yeah. Is there some type of parameters other than being 65 that you know would that you have to stay within, like a certain mile dis distance, or you know if a doctor's appointment, yeah, um, you know is so far away? Yeah. Is there some type of you know? We we try to make, make we try to make sure. Take for instance, uh, if you take uh, Tilley Park, we do some mm -hmm. at Tilley Park area. But across the street, there's another part, maybe about a, two blocks over, which would be another little shopping center area. I mean, we, we try to accommodate them. I mean, yeah. you know more than a couple blocks over. Uh, and, and most people, would, like I said, let us know what you're trying to do. And we'll, you know, we'll kind of like, you know, go past the borderline of it. But most of the people that really ask, I mean, they, they're very receptive to what we're doing. So I'm very pleased about that. Got it. And they're kind of understanding of, oh, yeah. you know, the, the program. Oh, yeah. Now, we, we, we have had some people ask us, you know, can we come to Chicago? And we says, well, uh, that's a little different. Uh, but within this rich township boundaries, mm -hmm. they understand. And, and, and not only that, staff is very cooperative and cordial mm -hmm. in explaining to them what we do. I mean, they trust me, the amount that's put into it to be able to take people well, there's not a major, there's a cost. It means a lot. And then, you know, sometimes what we try to do, like I tell the drivers, is that when you're able to make a difference with seniors, and like I said, for them to go, whether it's been Pete, uh, or one of the other grocery stores, or Myers, and for the driver to be there and then to help them to lift their stuff, to take them back, to take it off, and to assist them. And sometimes we've had situations where it says a lot. You know, we're picking up groceries. We even sometimes add some of the youth to help out, you know, uh, not necessarily driving, but mm -hmm. if they need help, or if they got a couple of bags more, if it's something a little heavy, we just try to be of assistance. I mean, it's incredible because mm -hmm. it's those little things, you yeah. know, as, as we get older, mm -hmm. you know, I think we might sometimes take for granted. Mm -hmm. And so I think services such as the rideshare program, mm -hmm. it makes such a big impact mm -hmm. on the seniors because... At, at the end of the day, there are loved ones. And, we and, sure. and and what we try to do, too, is that we also, in a situation, not just when they call, mm -hmm. but sometimes we do random calls to check with the person. Hey, oh, you know, great. You know, uh, do you need any service, any upcoming services mm -hmm. soon? Let us know. And then we also try to let people know when we have holidays earlier, 
hey, it's a holiday, but if it's something they're trying to do, if we need to, you know, have a few more buses, there's more, and that's why I want the smaller car. If we're able to assist that way, it makes a huge difference. Got it. Mm -hmm. So how often can you schedule the services? Can you, like, if you have a doctor's appointment once a month on, you know, a Tuesday, can you essentially schedule that out so far oh, in yeah, advance? Yeah, so yeah. We prefer scheduling out because it gives us an opportunity where we can. And what mm -hmm. I do like about this is that, and it's funny, someone mm -hmm. asked me, they says, what if a person wants to do two to three things in a week? I said, generally they'll explain to them. What we try to do with most people is, is if there's a situation, assist them. Mm -hmm. If it's doctor's appointments, always come first. Uh, and most of the people who really sing and do grocery shopping, they'll do that once a month or maybe okay. twice a month. So you don't get people that I consider that take advantage of the system, need to go like it's a Jitney uh, uh, Uber service daily. We don't do that. They're very receptive. Most of the time you get a person might say a couple of times a month. And you don't mind it. I mean, and one of the things that we try not to do when we have the seniors is rush them. How can we be assistance? Can we do this for you? Mm -hmm. Everything's okay. That means a lot. You know, as some of the drivers said, uh, one of the guys says, you know, I'm probably old as a senior, but when I say that in the mid sixties, but the lady says, well, Sonny boy, I really appreciate what you're doing. This means mm -hmm. a lot. And you're so patient. Those things means a lot. And again, it goes back to what Safe Light does because it, I've talked to other townships throughout the state mm -hmm. and they don't have this type of service. Now, of course, some of the townships are in the rural, but to be able to have this, it means a lot. And it, and we have been one of the, we consider innovative townships because we do things that other townships don't do. Mm -hmm. So I'm very pleased about that. And that, that Safe, when it first came to me, I was on board, we were able to really, you know, take care of a lot of the costs. And if we have to do something extra, you know, it, 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 we don't mind it doing it from the township. But again, as I reiterated earlier, to be able to, when you look at the townships that are large towns, the large municipalities that are within our township, mm -hmm. uh, Matson is one of our largest ones. I, I tease them and said Matson's our capital, but when you take what's happening in Matson and Richmond Park and Country Club Hills, uh, these were townships that had their own services before. So to be able to come in, step, and also help assist, and then be able to provide your residents, because people always say, well, what type of services do you provide? That's a plus for Matson. So I'm real happy about that. And, uh, but bottom line is that we're here to serve the people. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. We appreciate the partnership that we've had. And I can tell you this, we have gotten, matter of fact, we don't have a meeting a month that we don't get some type of couple thank yous. And what we like to do is I like to let the other trustees and other constitutional officers know what's happening and how do people, what's the feedback. Yeah. Because that's a real, real great, great program that we provide. And with that feedback, would you mm -hmm. say that, you know, pretty much every senior citizen is very thankful, you know, very appreciative. Mm -hmm. Is there ways of opportunity you think for the rideshare program that we part are partnered with? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, what I also like about it, not only when we have and pick up a, a senior and take them to, you know, whether it's a medical appointment of going to the, uh, to the grocery store, mm -hmm. we're in a situation where we tell about other services, you know, just say like for Thanksgiving and Christmas, we do the program with the turkeys. And everybody likes to get in line or drive through. It's a normal drive through program. Mm -hmm. But what we do, some of the people that don't have transportation, we get their information and we deliver it to them. If we got a summer, matter of fact, July the 4th, we had a nice uh, 4th of July barbecue. Okay. And we invited people. Now, some people were able to get with other people because that day we didn't have the transportation open. But they were able to pick people up and bring them to our event. So they find out a lot of things that are going on within the township. Uh, we do things, you know, even with the males, men, we got a program we do, uh, which we call it the man cave. Well, some of the men that we <laughs> pick up and say, well, what's the man cave? Well, you come in, you got a physician that looks at you, but if they were not part of the program, even though we do let people know, uh, because what we also try to do is put in our newsletter and educate people to let them know what do we have this service. So this is a service that opens up a lot of doors. Matter of fact, uh, we even, you know, even let some of the various churches in the areas know that this is what we have. Can we put this flyer out, let them know we mm -hmm. provide, that we provide those services. So overall, I mean, I can tell you this, everybody, this is a real good partnership and it's been a hit with all of, not only with the mayors, but also I, I, I told them to have good mayors, you gotta have good trustees too. 
uh, good council members. I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's a, hit, a good hit because when I talk to them about, even some people ask me that might not necessarily know all about it, they are very appreciative of what we're doing. I think uh, mm -hmm. I think it's a win-win, you know, mm -hmm. for both the township mm -hmm. and for the seniors because at the end of the day, we know mm -hmm. we have to be able to have opportunities to assist our senior mm -hmm. citizens in need. So I think it's really important um, for that. Well, I, I look forward to it. Like I say, it's a win-win. And uh, when I was first educated about the program, we looked at it. We always look at what's the cost, what you know, even with the assistance, what it's going to do. Mm -hmm. But it, it's a program that geared toward the seniors. Right. And when the seniors know, you know, like one senior even said to me one day, because, I mean, I'm out and I'm all over. What I'll do, I'll be a little nosy. And i say, how's everything? Everything going well? And they'll say, they'll remember this is, Hello, Supervisor Jordan. I says, yes. I said, but just checking to make sure everything's going well for you. One lady says, I'm going to share this with my friend. I says, well, look, this is why we're here. Mm -hmm. And this is what makes a difference. And again, like I said, um, I'm li really looking at to see what we can do to extend the program, Absolutely. especially on Saturdays. And if we're able to do that, that will help some people too. Because sometimes everybody don't do things Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. But I just think it's a service is just much needed. And like I said, when I got to education to find out what this service is, what you guys do, and how you assist. Uh, and when I went back to Township of Illinois and I told them about the program, they were very excited. They said, well, our, we don't have this further south. You know, either you get on the bus or either you get an Uber. And that's just the way it is. I says, no, we, we do it a little different. But... I look forward to the continuous partnership. And again, I want to say on behalf of Rich Township, we appreciate it on behalf of my trustees, the constitutionals, and all of my department heads. Uh, we appreciate what you guys have been able to do to help us. Absolutely. I mean, mm -hmm. we're more than happy to be able to assist. And mm -hmm. we're glad that, you know, we had the opportunity to partner with you guys because we think it's very important to be able to provide that to specifically to senior citizens. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and, and another thing, too, as I've told people before, we were one of the fastest growing townships in the state of, uh, in, actually in, the, in Cook County, mm -hmm. but also in the state we were fast growing. And the people that have moved out in the Southland, a lot of them are seniors. And, and, and also we have other seniors that sometimes they might have transportation, but be, you know, as they get older, mm -hmm. to be able to have some assistance, it makes a huge difference. So, again, I, I can truly tell you, I can't say it enough, uh, we appreciate it. Mm -hmm. We appreciate, especially when we're able to work with the, with the various municipalities, because, again, this is what townships are supposed to do. And uh, as I tell people, we're a last resort of government, but however we can continuously help our seniors, we look forward to it. Yeah, and you know, I hope it's something that we can mm -hmm. continue to do because, as you mentioned, you know, you have a lot of seniors that move to your mm -hmm. township. So mm -hmm. the more seniors I think that are going to move there mm -hmm. is a more opportunity for maybe more assistance and mm -hmm. more ways to be able to help out, you know, everyone that mm -hmm. does live in Rich Township. So. Yep. Well, I tell you, like I say, it's it's been a real hit, and uh, again, I appreciate you guys inviting us out so we can let. Everyone know the good deeds and what it has meant to the singers and all over within Rich Township. Well, absolutely. Well, it was an absolute pleasure having you on today's show. And, you know, I look forward to working with you and having the Safe Life Foundation and the Seniors Matter program mm -hmm. of Rideshare continue to work with, mm -hmm. uh, with you and your senior citizens. Well, I tell you what, we look forward to it. And again, I, as I said earlier, I was very excited when they did ask me about coming on and letting the people know what this has meant to us in the township. And uh, mm -hmm. one of the things I've even highlighted when we do our annual uh, report, uh, I've mentioned the fact of the assistance that we have gotten from the Safe Life Foundation, which is a plus. And, and from there, it leads to one other thing. Well, how do we participate with the Safe Life? But again, I, I thank them and I thank all the, their board members for what they have done and what they continuously do to help us. Yeah, and, uh, honestly, it's the feeling is, is very mutual. And, you know, mm -hmm. on behalf of the board at Safe Light Foundation, you know, mm -hmm. we're, we're very you know, happy with working with you. You know, we're happy to make an impact with the senior citizens mm -hmm. just because we really know, you know, it's important for senior citizens to still stay active mm -hmm. if they're unable to drive because that's a part of freedom. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a part of, you know, you that you may not be able to do mm -hmm. and it could neg negatively affect someone, right? So keeping them involved yeah. in the community, keeping them meeting new individuals and making those friendships, you know, is important. And it's a great benefit of this. Well, I, I'll even say this because we deal with mental awareness, but as people say, is being able to interact with others. 
it means mm -hmm. a lot and it's a good form of healing for a lot of seniors and and they think that they can with them being out there and engaging again thank you i mean you 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 touch us in more ways than you can imagine with us having this program so again i just I, i'm very thankful and very appreciative well again thank you so much for joining mm -hmm. us today on an episode of lighting the way and again supervisor jordan any last words or anything before well, we again, head off well i would like to say i i appreciate i appreciate being here but i appreciate being being able to do good for rich township because one of the things about in government you want to do things is going to make a difference but it's also about the partnerships again mm -hmm. i wouldn't be sitting here if we didn't have the partnership with safe life foundation and whoever thought about uh, this program was one of the best programs because i mean yes we do pace on one end but being able to single out and help other people We've got nothing but kudos for it, but we couldn't have been able to do that had we not partnership with Safe Life Foundation. So again, on behalf of Rich Township, we thank you. Absolutely, well, thank you, and mm -hmm. look forward to working with you okay. more. Well, thank you. And everyone at home, thank you for joining us on another episode of Lighting the Way. Remember to drive right with Safe Light.